Alright, so this is going to give you a look at the Manage tab in WordPress 2.6 down to the Divider. Anything below the Divider are additional plugins that have been added to WordPress. Uh, and down to the Divider is the standard sort of WordPress installation. Alright, so this is the Manage Posts page, which is the first one on the list. At the moment it's showing me all posts. If I click on this, it will show me only the published ones. And I click on this if I want to review the drafts that I have currently on my website, uh, articles that I'm working on that have been, haven't been published yet. And this incorporates a particular plugin called Admin Extended. Uh, and it adds all these particular, this particular functionality here and uh, features that will go through from left to right here. So this is the tick box. If I tick those two and click delete, it'll delete those particular two posts there. This is the publication date here. Uh, if I click on that link, it opens up the uh, edit page for that particular post, which will look like that. So that's the edit page for that post. If I, tick on, if I click on this pen here, it opens up where I can edit the title for that article. That's the author, I can edit the author. That's the comments, uh, edit the comments for that particular article. Shows me the status, which is published in this case. Categories, shows me the list of categories that have been clicked on. If I tick on the pen icon, it allows me to edit the categories for that article. Tags, the current tags, if I click on the pen, it opens up and allows me to add or edit the tags for that article. And there's also a plugin I've got in here called Organize Series. It also shows up in here as well. And this is part seven of a series called WordPress Screencasts. In addition, we've got these five buttons here. What this does is if I click on that button, it toggles visibility. So if I tickle, click on that, it will unpublish this article. So it basically won't be accessible via the public if I click on that. Change the publication date. If I click on that, I can actually change the date for which that publication was, was published. Click on that, it opens up and allows me to change the post title. It does the same thing as this button here. Clicking on this will allow me to edit the post slug, which is the URL uh, portion for this article. And I can turn comments on or off from here as well. And also there's ways of filtering um, different posts. So I can actually sh have it show me just posts from November. I can have it filter so that it shows me articles just from particular categories. And I can also uh, filter via the series as well. Um, that's the Manage Posts page. Okay, so next we have the Manage Pages tab, which is just next in line. This one is pretty much the same as the Manage Posts page that we were covering before. Uh, again, you have all pages published, and then here you have a link if you've got any drafts that you're working on. The only real difference is on this page. Again, if you click on this link, you'll go to the edit for that page. Um, but the main difference is you've got an ordering system. And the order of the pages is set by these numbers here. If I change the number in this box, it will automatically update. Just click on another box here and it updates automatically. So let's change the order of that page in relation to the rest. Now it'll be 10, it'll be right next to this. Uh, it's uh, not nested, so in other words, it's not. Um, when you've got the little line here, that means is that page is underneath this page. So there's this one and then there's this one is behind. You can actually click, click on the published link and down in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see that link come up. So that actually tells you the, the actual URL for that page. So as I go down, it will actually show me the URLs for that particular page if I let my um, mouse hover over the published uh, link. And the other thing I can do is if I want to change the order of the pages, but I don't want to have to change the numbers, there's actually a drag and drop system that it uses as well, which allows me to simply drag and drop uh, with, my, with my mouse. I can actually take this page and move it, and then it reorders the numbers automatically which is very handy. Um, next in line, we have Manage Links. Manage Links. So, okay, straight off the bat, I can, again, I can tick on a box and press Delete if I want to delete a particular link. 
I can click on here and it'll allow to filter out everything except the internet security fee in internet security and I click filter and it'll show me just internet security links so here we have the name the description that I've added shows up automatically and the URL itself shows in here and then the category and then it also tells me in the right hand column there if it's actually visible or not so if I want to edit one of these links I can just click on that and it will take me to the edit for that link page where I can change details like the description and the title and so forth. Sim exactly the same page as when we first created the link. So that's the manage links page. Pretty straightforward. Next one down in line is manage categories. Now these are the categories that are used for the uh, articles in WordPress. Now if I uh, want to edit a particular category, I just click on let's say internet security description and then down here it tells me the number of posts that that category has been assigned to number of articles that have been assigned to that category so here we are the edit category I can change the slug which is the URL I can make it uh, underneath a particular category and so forth alright so that's the manage categories I can actually add a new category there as well. All right, next down in line is the manage tags. Now, tags are a particular way that you, a thing that you can use to create uh, extra distinctions in the navigational process for uh, people being able to navigate. It just gives you more information. Sometimes uh, a particular article doesn't fit only into one category, but tags are a way of adding that additional information or or um, tags for um, for a particular article. So again, this works similarly to the categories page. I've tagged MySpace on a post once. I've tagged Media Publishing on an article three times. Three different articles have the Media Publishing tag on it. That allows you to create a widget for the or a page that has tags on it, and it just creates another way for your visitors to navigate through your site and find the information that they are interested in. Alright, so next in line, oh, if you can, if you like, click on that and it opens up the um, edit page for that particular tag as well. So again, we have the edit page for that, for that tag. So this is the Manage Media uh, Library. So it basically shows me all the media that I've uploaded, um, images, music, uh, video and if I've uploaded audio which I haven't yet for this site there will be an audio uh, link there I can click on that so if I click on this it'll filter and show me only images video or audio uh, so running from left to right again I can tick that box and delete anything uh, there's the title I can click on that to actually edit the image not so much the image but the uh, the titles and the descriptions for it the date that it's added is here and then it also shows me what article it appears with. It shows me the actual permanent link. Down on the bottom left again, you'll see the link to that, the direct link to that um, image. And I can tick on this box and change the description easily as well. And you've also got a media ordering, which is really important. So, And also we've got a page function here. We go to the next page and it shows us all the images on our site. So there we go, this is just more of the images that I've uploaded to this website. Alright, so next in line is import. Now this is a very rarely used feature, but import is used at usually at the beginning of creating a website for importing a page structure. It's something that I probably did for creating your website, um, or you may have used yourself if you've downloaded or using the um, do-it-yourself kit. Um, but if you've got a website and a, or a blog in another particular format, you can export from that format and then you can import it into WordPress. You can even import other WordPress uh, websites. It basically imports the pages, the categories and the content on the pages, which is a very quick way of um, structuring your website and starting quickly with what you're doing. The last one is export. This basically allows you to take your whole website and export it as actual 
uh, content so it exports the pages and uh, categories and then you just tick on all authors and then go download e download export file and it downloads your whole website um, content down onto your um, desktop which is a good way of backing up your website right so that's the manage tab in WordPress